Okay guys, welcome. Uh, my name is Shane DePoirot and I will be delivering your Hibernia course. So, I'm doing this course a very, very long time. I've probably had hundreds uh, of students go through this course with me now at this stage. And one of the, the key things that I, I've implemented this year now, we, we, I, I've decided to change the way the course is run. For you guys, it doesn't really matter if, if I did what way I did it before, I did it now. For you guys, what you need to understand is what I'm about to say. Now, here are the key points. The way I've split the course up is I split the course up into an unit, a unit as we'd call it in English. And I split the course into about eight or nine units. And in each unit, I put topics that kind of go together. So, for example, in unit one, I put my fame, my highlight, like myself, my family, and my counter, my area, and my hawk, my house. And what I've done is I put them together because I feel like as a unit, those four topics go together and you can kind of bounce from one to the other very easily. Starting off with your family, where you live, oh, I don't live there, I live in this area. And you can kind of blend those together. So for each unit, I put a couple of, uh, I suppose, different topics together. And what I've done then for the videos is you obviously have an introduction video that you should watch after this where I'm going to go into great detail about the exam itself. And then after that, each unit will be 1.0. And the video, let's say, on my family will be 1.1. I'm sorry, myself will be 1.1. On my family, 1.2. On my area, 1.3. And on my home, 1.4. And you have small, short videos. And the reason why I've designed it like this is that, look, for many of you, you're not going to sit down and do this course in you know, one sitting. And I definitely don't recommend you do. The idea is that you do a certain amount every week. And with that in mind, as you complete a topic, you write your own notes out, you practice them, you can listen back, and it's bite-sized chunks. If this is one big, long, continuous video, it can be daunting to say, oh, I've only got 30 minutes tonight after work to do this. I'm a little bit tired, I'm not gonna do it. However, if you only have 30 minutes after work, you know if you click into now our dash page and you're able to, to see the different videos, you might go, right, that video is only eight minutes long. I'm gonna do that and write the notes out, have it done in 20 minutes, and I have another topic prepared. So each time you cover a small mini video with me, they're usually anywhere between six and maybe 12 or 14 minutes long, and that's an exception, most of them are between six and nine, six and 10 minutes long. Once you get one of those videos done, the notes are translated and you write everything down, you then take out a pen and paper, you pick out what sentences that you want. In those videos, I'll tell you exactly how many sentences I think you should have, how many you need. Put them on paper and design your own script, okay? So that's the, the main objective here is that to cover all the videos, to design your own notes, from those videos, and the reason why there's more content than needed, look, you could just ring up the school here, I can provide you with a script, and you could just fill in the blanks, that family members, this, that, and the other. As I said to you before, look, this course is very, very popular, both in person and online. So with that in mind, I'm wary that I don't want students just to learn one script, go into the exam, and the examiners go, oh, here's another one of those scripts there, we know exactly what's coming and they're gonna deviate from what you want to talk about. So that's not the plan at all. The plan here is you design your own notes, you get comfortable with the level of Irish you want to use from my notes, make sure you can say everything properly, you can listen back over the videos for pronunciation as much as you can, and then when you go in to this exam, which are two examiners in front of you, you sound authentic. You sound like you're talking from the top of your head, and it sounds like the Irish is your own rather than that I'm giving you a script to learn. So keep that in mind, guys. That's something that's really, really important. The very best of luck with the videos. I know they're going to help. And best of luck with your interview. It's long ago.